Hey guys, Steve Welch here. So one of the common questions you get when you set somebody up on the new connected services, you, you hook them up via Bluetooth, you hook them up on the uh, the app, they connect to their car and then they're going, well, my wife drives it sometimes. So how do, how do I get her to sign up on the app? Or my kids might drive it, I want them on the app. Or I have a friend that's gonna borrow it, I want him. And, well, and the normal answer to that is, well, just sign in on their phone and then you can both kind of use it. That, that'll work, right? But that's not probably the right way to do it, but that'll work. Um, but if you actually want to share your Remote Connect connection to your car without giving somebody the full access to your app, there's actually a way to do it, and you actually use the guest function of it. So question is, how do you use the guest function? Glad you asked. I'm going to show you right now. So this is my app, right? And I've signed into my app. You can see my truck there. We can do status. We can do all the, the fun stuff here. But if you want to, all you do is once you're signed in here, if you want to add, if you somebody, want to to add somebody to it, no problem. Hit this arrow right here. Tap that. Once you pull this up, you're going to see guest drivers. Just hit that button right there. And you're going to see there's two types of guests. There's a valet, right? And then there's guest, right? So you're going to hit your guest right here. And you'll see you can add driving limits and things like that, whatever you want to do, right? Um, so you can define what those driving limits are and all those, those types of things, right? But if you want to add somebody, you're going to come back right here and you're going to hit share remote, right? So you can see what you can let somebody do. Now hit share remote. And then remote access, you're giving the driver access to the remote commands with the mobile app, the engine lock, the hazards. You're gonna hit that right there. Then you're gonna search by email. You type in their email. Once you type in their email, they have to have the app downloaded. But if they have the app downloaded, they're gonna get an invitation to connect to your vehicle. Once they do that, they will have the access to start it, stop it, lock it, unlock it. Do all the things except really access the guest controls. So when it comes down to it, you still have the control to turn somebody off, turn somebody on. You can do whatever you want to with that. And you've got all the power, but you can give somebody else access to be able to start, stop, do all that stuff to your vehicle without giving them the full access through your password to your app. So you guys tell me what you think, but hopefully I helped you out. Steve Welcher, you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.